if you're like me and you have little children, it can need to be parent-led, otherwise they're just going to do all the things that you don't want them to do. Dumping pots of plants out on the porch. Not something you want them to do. Are we gonna make the a thousand hours outside challenge this year? Hey everyone and welcome back to today's episode of The Hyla Home. Here we talk about motherhood, natural living, and homemaking, which includes renovating our 1940s home. Today I want to be sharing with you some tips on getting your kids outside. There is the thousand hours outside movement that prioritizes getting kids outside as opposed to keeping them indoors on screens. And I just want to talk to you as a mom of two littles who are under two about some tips and some things you can do outside to both help you get those hours outside with your littles, but then also some things that you can do while you're outside so that you're not just bored. So without further ado, let's get started. So obviously if you're a parent, you know that a struggle is getting outside just in general, whether it's outside of the house to go to Walmart, whether it is to pick up groceries, whether it's to go to your local co-op or even just a mom's group at church, whatever it may be, you know it is definitely a struggle to get outside of your home, whether that be outside, outside or just out of the home. So I can definitely relate to the fact that getting your kids outside can be a hard thing to do. And if you're feeling the pressure of wanting to get your kids off of screens, outdoors, soaking up that vitamin D, it could definitely weigh on you as a mom if you just totally feel out of energy and like you don't even know where to start. So one thing I recommend, which I feel like is super low maintenance, is eating outside. Now, actually, I had somebody else give this to me as a tip because I really didn't think about it, but if you eat your meals outside, there are so many benefits. But one is for you as a mom, it minimizes cleanup. And so instead of having to wash down the table after your kids eat or sweeping the floor, or in our case, vacuuming the rug, you now don't have to worry about that extra step after dinner or lunch because you're eating outside. So for us, we try to eat breakfast and lunch outside because it minimizes the cleanup afterwards. And it's just a great way to get some extra minutes it's outside. And that is one thing that you can do that also is easy on you because it doesn't require a lot of attention for or creativity from you. It just is essentially something you're already doing and you just transfer it outside. Now I do recommend if you want to do that, that you have like either a picnic blanket that is just specific for eating outside or a little picnic table or something where you can throw it out on the grass and eat outside. For us specifically, we just sit on our front steps and that works for us. Sometimes we lay a blanket out in the yard, but a lot of the times we just sit on our front steps or back steps. So whatever is easiest for you, the goal is just go outside, eat outside, and just get that vitamin D. And that is a very easy way to get outside that is not going to require a whole lot of effort and time from you. The other thing that I do for getting outside is going outside right before nap time. And this kind of sounds stressful, and in some ways it is, especially if you're like me and you're very specific about making sure your children go down for their naps. However, it helps your children kind of wear out the last little bit of their giggles if they can just run around and play outside. Also, because you have a set stop time, knowing that, hey, we are going to take a nap afterwards, it can kind of let you finish up those maybe last 30 minutes of kind of chaotic time where your kids are more prone to meltdowns, to fighting, to getting into things, to being bored because they're starting to feel that sleep pressure. So just taking your kids outside is another way that can really help you as a mama or a dad, take your kids and make outside time actually easier on you. I find that a lot of the time if I do that, even if it's just for 30 minutes, it really helps regulate my children's emotions and they're so much easier to put down for their nap afterwards if they can get some time outside. And like today, it's very rainy, it's very wet and kind of gross out. So what we did is we just sat on the front porch, it's covered, and we just watched the rain for 30 minutes before her nap and then she went down really easily. The other idea I have for outside time, and obviously this will depend on your location, but is to take a family walk together in the evening. This can either be before or after dinner, but just taking a walk together as a family. It doesn't have to be a long walk, but taking a walk as a family is a great way to get some vitamin D in outside time, especially right before going to bed. So with all the added benefits of going outside right before nap time, you have those also 
for nighttime, but then too, it's just a great way for everyone to get some energy out and get some good fresh air, but also some bonding time together. So as opposed to maybe watching a movie together or sitting and drawing or reading, all of which are great things, maybe a couple of those times replace that with a family walk and everyone can be happy. So those are some of my tips as far as getting outside. Those are some ideas. Now I'm going to be sharing with you some of the things we like to do outside. Obviously I've already mentioned the walk, but that also can help fill the time while your kids are outside. Ideally, I just wanna preface this with at some point your children should just be exploring and playing on their own. It shouldn't need to be parent-led, but if you're like me and you have little children, it can kind of need to be parent-led because otherwise they're just going to do all the things that you don't want them to do, like dumping pots of plants out on the porch. Not something you want them to do. So with that as a preface, I will go into some of the things that I have as ideas to go outside that kind of help us fill the time. One thing I really like to do for my kids is I will obviously, like I said, lay out a blanket and I'll bring some wooden blocks or little stackable cups for them to play outside. And that entertains them quite a bit. In fact, because we're outside, they find new ways to play with them. My daughter is 18 months old. So as a reference for kind of age-wise for playing and what she likes to do is she likes especially to take the little stackable cups and she'll go and pick little wild strawberries out in the yard or flowers and just set them in those cups and she finds that really enjoyable. I also feel like in that case it's kind of setting her up to be more of a forager and learn the different types of plants so I really like that that's something she likes to do and she feels like she's accomplishing something or helping out. Something else she really likes to do which I find will entertain her for long periods of time is giving her two cups with one of them filled with water and letting her dump them in each other. Now, obviously this is gonna cause a mess. So if you're outside, you maybe want your child to be wearing clothes that aren't really going to matter if you get them stained and messed up, but she absolutely loves pouring water into the different glasses. And so she will spend hours on the sidewalk pouring one glass of water into the other. And so that is definitely another form of entertainment. The other thing you can do, which I don't do very often because my children like to entertain themselves kind of on their own with the things out in our yard, but is if they're feeling really bored, sometimes I'll play some music out in the yard, I'll put a speaker up and they just dance and play and do all sorts of things to the music. And that is also really fun for them. We do that actually around the house when people are just getting angsty and it really helps to brighten everyone's spirits and just gives them something to do. They love moving their bodies and expressing themselves in that way. So it's just a great way to get more wiggles out while being outside. Now, those are really all the tips I I have that's pretty much all we do outside sometimes we'll go exploring and we'll go to a walk to the park or maybe just a walk in general but honestly outside in and of itself is very entertaining to my children and so just being outside being outdoors being able to touch grass all of that is very engaging for them and entertaining so it actually takes less out of me as a mom now are we gonna make the a thousand hours outside challenge this year no we are not outside often enough for us to make that challenge. Now, on the flip side, am I still prioritizing being outside at least once a day? I try, and I know some days I do better than others. This past day, we spent maybe an hour outside eating dinner, and then today we've spent more time. It just kind of depends, obviously, on the day, but I do try to get our kids outside at least 30 minutes a day, even if it's just sitting on the back porch. There are lots of benefits to being outside as a kid. One is eye development, hand eye coordination development, major motor skill development. There's a lot of different things that are beneficial for children when they're playing outside. So I do encourage you, even if it's just 15 to 30 minutes a day, prioritizing using my tips, taking your kids outside, and seeing if it makes your life easier as a parent. Well, I hope that was helpful to you. Please leave some suggestions in the comments below if you have any ideas about getting your kids outside and things to do outside. Really appreciate you all for joining me. Thank you all so, so much for 100 subscribers. You all are amazing. I am so so, so blessed. You all have a great day. Thank you. Bye.